In this video, I'm going to show you the basic components that make up Trillo. So those are boards, cards, and lists. This video is for like, if you've never opened Trillo and you don't know what those things are. <laughs> so if you sign up for a Trillo account, you're probably gonna come to this screen and it's gonna be blank. So you can click here to create your first board. Boards are like the filing system of Trillo. So, or you can hit, click on boards and you wouldn't have anything here and you can click create board there. So let's see, first board. Then you can pick teams or if it's public or private. You can also pick a picture, a background picture. And if you click here, it'll extend it and there's tons and tons of pictures to choose from for your background. Ta-da, your very first board. So boards are made up of lists and lists are columns that house your cards. There's not a whole lot you can do with lists except to add cards, um, but here's all your options of what you can do with a list. You can move your lists around. So here you can add a card from here or you can add a card from here. They're the exact same options. You have to do a title for your card. And then you click on the card to expand it to get all of your options. If you only click on the pencil, you'll only get some of the options. So here are some things that you can do with your cards. But if you actually click on the card, it opens, and opens it up. And this is where all your information lives um, that makes up your data in Trello. So we have descriptions. You can basically type anything you want in there. You have comments that you can add. And then there's all these other features that you can do going down the side. So you can add members. So this will assign a card to somebody. Labels, which can help you filter your cards. Um, and it's really helpful if you need to search your cards, if you have them labeled. Um, it helps classify um, your cards as well. Checklists. You can title anything you want and then add whatever you want here. And it becomes a checklist that you can check off. Due dates, so you can add a due date to the card. Attachments, which is one of my favorite features. You can attach from any of these sources or you can merely grab the URL and stick it right here and attach anything you want. Um, I love this feature. If you attach pictures, you can make them the cover of the cards. There's Power Ups, which is integrations with third other third-party apps, so you can do more with Trillo you will not have this particular thing on your card. So I have it because I have the toggle extension in Chrome and it gives me this button right here so I can start a timer directly from a card. You can move your cards, you can copy your cards and it gives you a lot of different options there. Watch means that you would get notifications on anything that happens on this card. So anytime the cards moved or checklist items checked off or whatever, you would get a notification. Archive, which is um, means what it means. It means archive the card. You can archive or you can delete cards. Um, so if you archive them, they do live somewhere. If you delete them, that is permanent. Um, so if we go here, we can send a board or we can delete permanently um, once you've clicked the option. And then share, which opens up some other options. Link to card, this one I particularly like quite a bit and use it to help connect um, processes and other things within my Trello boards. Um, that one's really handy to use. It's also handy to use if you're communicating with people and you need them to do work on a card. Embed this card allows you to embed it, like in your website or something. Um, email for this card. So this actually allows you to email whatever you want to the card and it will show up in the comment section. And I use this to put a lot of um, my emails in here that I need to keep track of or like if I want that information to live in that particular um, card or assignment. So those are the basic features of Trillo. And, oh, and let me just show you the link. So if I link to this card, oh, let's not do it here though.
So I can actually link in the checklist, I can link up here, and I can also add it as an attachment. And then it actually shows here, which is pretty cool. Um, so if you click on this link, like on this, it'll take you to that card. So that's a pretty cool, cool feature. Anyway, these are the very basic components of what makes up Trello. Um, there's a whole lot more to Trello, of course, and there's a whole lot more to each and every one of those features, particularly cards. And you can learn more about how to use Trello. I have a free Trello 101 course that I will link below. Um, so that's completely free and you can sign up for that to see how I use Trillo in my business and it explains a little more how I utilize a lot of these features that are available. I hope that um, you dive in and figure out how to make Trillo work for you.